next guest is uh, many things, author, actress, comedian, and mom who put raising her kids on hold to co-host a show about raising kids. It's called The Parent Test. You can watch it Thursday nights here on ABC. Please say hello to Allie Wentworth. You smell very good. Thank you. Yeah. How's your Stephanopoulos doing? Uh, he's doing very well. He's uh, at home in New York with our children. Yeah, yeah. Your husband, in case people don't know, is George, uh, George Stephanopoulos. Clooney. Or How Stephanopoulos. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you guys been married? 21 years. And do you now know how to spell his last name? I do not. You do not, yeah. <laughs> It's That's hard. why I'm Wentworth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> You're co-hosting um, this show called uh, The Parent, the Parent Test. Test. Yes, and which it's is a... Interesting, I think. The... I think interesting. Yeah. Um, it was a big hit in Australia, and they brought it to America. When they came to me with the show, I thought, well, I'm a parent. I have parents. All I talk about is parenting. Mm -hmm. There's no handbook for being a parent, as we all know. There are, but who knows Don't if they're read right. Them. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you're basically put in a dinghy and you're just sort of pushed out to sea and you got to yeah. figure it out. And every kid is different. And so this show is these, these couples that are kind of different parenting styles, like free range and discipline and high achievement. And you, we put them through challenges like stranger danger or all kinds of stuff. And it's fascinating. And you test them. And you if they them. fail the test, their children are taken away by the police. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Police. No. They're just people in hoods. That come in and <laughs> uh, but yes, and it's it's. We're not saying that one style is the right style. But when you watch it, it's like you have a little toolbox, and you go, "Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I think I'm going to do that." So there's not like a winner of the parenting style. The only um, losers are the children. Really. The only losers are yes. I mean, we're not all. Trying. What is your parenting style? Um, <laughs> <laughs> because. My parenting style is, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and uh -huh. George is the same way. So you're just honest about that with the yes. kids, or do you pretend with the kids that you do know what you're doing? Oh, no, they know we don't. They know, They yeah. know we don't. <laughs> Much like I am I think Jane and Billy probably don't know what the hell you and Molly no, are doing. No, they don't, but right. we pretend that we know what oh, we're doing. Oh, that's smart. That's very smart. Oh, is it? Yes. Really? Uh, no, I... you, you have to, they have to assume that you know what's going on. That's how you yes. create boundaries. It's like you're learning so much from him, me, and I'm so happy. Yeah. Um, no, but I, I, you know, I always feel like I'm reading a sitcom script when I'm acting like a mom, you know, and I'm like, don't you talk to me like, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, right, feels yeah. feels so not me. Yeah. But one time our eldest, Elliot, was being really sassy, and I said to her, you go to your room right now. So she, she slammed down the hallway, the door slams, and I hear, I hate you, Allie Wentworth. I hate you, Allie Wentworth. So I went walking down to her room, and I opened the door, and I said, it's I hate you, Mom. Don't you sully the brand. <laughs> so. That's funny. <laughs> and what about, what about George? Because he seems very calm all the time. Is yes. he like, is he the, does he bring down the hammer ever? Or what is he no, like as I a dad? I would say he, he brings down the hammer. You know, when you first marry somebody, you don't really, I mean, George and I knew each other for five minutes. You don't really know what kind of a spouse they're going to be. But no. when you have children with somebody, you don't know what kind of parent they're going to be. So when I got pregnant, um, <laughs> and George did that to you, George, right? Yeah. I mean, who really knows? But yeah. let's assume it was George. <laughs> I had this thing called hyperemesis, which is where you throw up everything. Water, goldfish, you know, cheery, Cheerios. It doesn't matter what I put in, I throw up. And I remember George and I had not been, ma been married very long, and I was on the living room floor, totally naked, throwing up, and he came home from work. And I saw the look in his eyes, and it was like, what have I done? <laughs> what I married that. Yeah. And yeah. we didn't read any books because, you know, I, I sort of perused what to expect when you're expecting, which read like a Stephen King novel to me. So <laughs> we didn't do Lamaze, we didn't do anything. What about in the delivery room? Was he good in Well, that? on the way to the delivery room, I went into labor and we were driving to the hospital in Washington, DC, and you know, I'm 
I got my feet on the dashboard. I am like can barely breathe. I w- I'm sure I was crowning. And George pulls into the parking lot across the street from the hospital. And I said, honey, pull up to the emergency room. I'm in labor. And George was like, well, that's not an emergency. So he's going in like <laughs> satellite G5 parking structure. And I was like, you can drop me off and then go park if you really need a parking spot. So finally, we went in into the hospital. I went in, I started having the baby. And here's a problem with being married to somebody who's famous. I'm in labor and he looks down, which you shouldn't do, by uh-huh. the way. Hey, stay up here by me. Don't microwave a piece of lasagna and watch the birth. And he's up here and they're like, oh look, you know, the baby. And he goes down. They they're, give him the scissors to cut the umbilical cord, and I see George get light gray. And he goes, I don't feel so well. And they're like, are you okay? And all of a sudden, the nurse, the doctor, everybody goes to George, and they're like, are you okay? Do you need some smelling salts? Here, sit down. Move it, lady. And they're like, <laughs> caring for George, who feels a little peckish. <laughs> I have a baby hanging out of my vagina, and I'm like, hi, hi. <laughs> But he he got some Pepsi Cola and then he was fine. Do you do you and George ever disagree on how to handle the children? No, we do a lot of like, well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I don't. What are you going to do about Uh it? And then it's like, well, I'm going to LA to do Kimmel. You deal with this. So, Uh but uh, we come from very different families. Right. So. his his rearing, which is such a weird word. He was reared in a different way than I was. He was reared Greek style. Yeah, he was right? reared Greek style. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of sheep. <laughs> and uh, I was just abandoned. <laughs> so the, the best example I can give you of our sort of different parenting styles that come from our families, because, you know, we have parents that when we become parents, we're either reacting against our parents or we're taking the things we loved about our parents and doing it to our kids. Yeah. So our eldest daughter, Elliot, was being christened. Now, my father-in-law is a priest. It's a very big deal. In my family, crazy waspy, drinky family, you when you're christened, you get like holy water and then you go have mimosas and right. eggs benedict. It's yep. not such a, you don't spend a lot of time in the church. Right. But in the Greek Orthodox Church, it's a very big deal. They so, sing the whole thing. They it's sing, everything. there's candles, there's incense. <coughs> and <laughs> so I took our baby Elliot, you know, I had I was sort of new to this whole christening world. And I dressed her up in the christening outfit that my great grandmother wore that like goes down the hallway, down the street. (laughs) And I put a little cap on her bald head and she pulled it off and I put it back on and took it off and then I duct taped it to her head. Uh. (laughs) And she looked like those early American paintings of these little kids with bulbous eyes that are like freakishly pale and weird. Anyway, so we bring her to the church. And again, I'm thinking holy water and, you know, we're out for brunch and a towel was laid out. My father-in-law, the priest, took all her clothes off and the cap, which, you know, pulled off some of her skin, and <laughs> laid her down. And suddenly he was rubbing my baby in oil. And I turned to George and I said, if he puts oregano and a lemon up her ass, I'm out here. <laughs> so he takes the baby and there's like a, again, remember, holy water, there is a copper pot and he takes the baby and he submerges my daughter in the water. So she's going like this. <gasps> she's like, ah! Ah! That's going on. And I look over and the Greeks in the church, they're, they have the plastic cameras. There's like, oh, bah, this is so great. I look over at my family and my mother is looking at my sisters going, look away, look away. <laughs> I, I, after that event, I said it was like there were two movies being played. It's a Wonderful Life and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> and that is how we started our parenting life. Allie Wentworth, everybody. The Parent Test, Thursday nights, 9 o'clock, here on ABC. We'll be back with Molly Tuttle.